What's up, my LS Crazy Amigos? It's your boy, Terry, speaking from the garage shop once again. Here to offer you some more Big Bang for the Buck and LSA Supercharger Setup Tips. Yeah, you know, we're doing, we're moving along pretty well, and we set up the LSA Supercharger itself. This is the front of this LSA Supercharger. It's like a two-piece. So... And we're gonna talk about this one today. We're gonna talk about the snoot. Now I know some of you guys like to correct people all the time, you know, like maybe not because you're LS Crazy Amigos, maybe you're that's just not, you know, just don't take life that serious where, you know, you have to correct people and I love you for it. But for the fact is, I know it's called a snout, right? but I like to say snoot. So we're gonna set up, there's certain things you gotta do to prep. You have, we had to prep the LSA supercharger. We had to prep the engine. Now we're gonna prep the snoot, and then when we put it on, there's also another step that we gotta to do to set up the snoot and the LSA supercharger, and then we're gonna bolt it down for good. But for now, we're just gonna concentrate on the, the snoot snap, all right? As you can see, I took, cause I'm gonna go with a smaller pulley. You see that? I'm gonna go with a smaller pulley so I can create a little bit more boost in the car. And to remove that pulley, you're gonna need, the way I did it anyways, Three drawer puller. All right, you wrap it around like this. Wrap it around, set it up, and pull it right off. Now, this three drawer, <laughs> this this uh, pulley, it's safe to say I'm never going to use it again. As you can see, it's pretty much damaged. See <laughs> where, where it uh, where the jaws grabbed it. But anyways, so I'm not going to use that. You know, for now, let's just concentrate on this. This right here, I'm gonna use these. This is the vacuum. This one, the big one, if you have uh, brakes, vacuum brakes like a booster, you tie the brake booster to the big one, okay? The big opening right here. If you don't have uh, brakes or you need vacuum, just cap it off, all right? This small one on my Chevelle, it uses a vacuum to open up the doors for the heat and the vent, the vent doors. So I'm gonna, Tie it into right here or whatever small, you know, like some cars have uh, vacuum actuators, which you need to, to have the car work. But if you're not using, if your car is just set up for, let's say, racing, you're not going to need it. So you just cap it off. All right. Now, let's see. This other one right here, you got a small one right here, right here, red. That's for a catch can. If you're not going to use a catch can, just cap it off. And this one right here, you want to cap this one off as well. All right, I'm going to be using the catch can, so the catch can is going to go right to this. And that's pretty much it for that. Now, you got these openings here where there were sensors. All right, so what you want to do is, I went on eBay, and I, I was able to buy these little, let me open one up. These little block off plates, as you can see, little block off plates, and it has a little bolt, a hole, a bolt hole, bolt, bolt hole, and it got a little rubber inside where this is gonna go right here. No, nope, that's the big one, hold on a sec. This is gonna go in the big one right here, as you can see, so it's gonna look like that. Let's bring it up a little bit, ah, you see? Right there, it's gonna cap it off. Now, to assure, that you do not get any vacuum leaks because there's a chance. And once you tie it down, even though there's a rubber grommet here, I'm all about cheap insurance. I'm gonna put a little bit of this, see right here? RTV silicone sealant, all right? I, I think it works the best, AC Delco, all right? So I'm gonna put some around here and then seal it down and that should take care of any possible vacuum leaks that, that should should come up. Now we're gonna continue to prep this snoot. That's right, snoot. So we can put it together with the LSA supercharger. Now, if you remember, I took off the stock pulley so I can get a little bit more boost. Now with superchargers, the, the way you raise boost is through the pulley on the supercharger or either the pulley on the crank. So I went with a smaller pulley, which is gonna turn the supercharger a little bit more quicker, add a little more power, a little bit boost, <clears throat> add more boost. <clears throat> so now I got to install this this uh, 
this hub. Now, what I did was, you gotta be smart. <laughs> what I did was I got one of these hubs. Now I got all this from Synergy Motorsports. They give you the Lingerfelder hub. You see this? This is gonna go on and it has to be pressed in. So you gotta be careful with that. And just in case later on down the road, if I wanna change boost or whatever, it comes with, a, it's a two piece. So instead of taking the hub off like I had to do with the stock one, I just take this off. It's held on by 10 bolts. And uh, this will allow me to change my boost. Very simple. All right. Now, they make a tool. They make a tool. It costs a couple hundred dollars so you can install this thing the proper way. But, you know, this is this is the garage shop, man. We, we build our own tools up in here. Now, I came across, I don't know. You know how sometimes you just gather stuff? I don't know how and where this thing came from. But I came across this thing. All right. And I made this. Uh, a snoot pulley install tool, all right? Because like when you're doing these builds, like LS builds, and and you gotta be creative, and you gotta build tools yourself because you would you want you want to keep the money in house for other stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, so what I did was this thing I, again. I don't know where I got this thing from, but I'm glad I got it. It's it's this, and if you look, it already had a center hole in it, all right, which is cool. So I just drilled three little holes around it. That match, uh, you see this? There's three, kind of like three uh, little things sticking up. Actually, it's a fourth one, a big one. So what's going to happen is I'm going to take my, we got to make a name for this thing, Terry, I don't know, supercharger pulley install tool, I don't know. But anyways, you take that and you put it like that. So it's nice and flush. You see what's happening? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in my press right here and press this down. So hopefully this will work. <laughs> Let's see. You do not want to mess up those bearings in there because now you got to send the snoot out and uh, get rebearinged. Is that such a word? Rebearinged? <laughs> uh, I got it in my press and I guess a good sign is because the thing is moving freely. You see that? And I got a little bit of pressure on the pulley. On the snoot, should I say? So let's uh, crank it down and hopefully. <laughs> I think that's it. All right, so I got it pressed on. I got the hub pressed on. At this point, you can go and drill a hole through the hub and through the shaft and install uh, the the dowel pin that comes with the kit. But I don't think I'm gonna do that. I don't think it's gonna be necessary. But uh, at this, oh, it's looking good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start installing my little bolts. You gotta put a little, little Loctite on them and install the second piece, the second part, second piece part. <laughs> comes with a little blue Loctite. And like I always say, I don't see nothing wrong with a little Loctite. I don't see nothing wrong. Bolt them down and torque them right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so there's 10 of them here. And you got to, of course, in sequence, in sequence. You can put them in anywhere you want, but at some point when you snug them down, there's an order which comes with the kit. Hoping that I can attach this to sometime this week to the supercharger and keep it keep it moving. And like I said, I'm gonna keep on videotaping and I'm gonna post it. So I'm all about helping the next man, you know, project build go a little bit easier. So huh, looking at the clock on the wall, or should I say ceiling, time for me to head on off and do some more work and uh get this thing rolling so I can, uh, you know, like I said, post more videos for you guys because that's what I'm all about, care and sharing. That's it, you know? So until the next time we meet, please, as always, please, as always, be easy. And I'll catch you guys real soon.